Hey, Joey Kasimi here with another super quick tutorial for the Incompressed blog. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a really quick RSS feed for your WordPress blog. And also, I'm going to show you how to set up a widget with an RSS subscription box. So that way, when your visitors and your readers come by your site, they could go ahead and subscribe and get updates anytime you publish a post or an article to your blog. Now, there's really only two things that you need, and this is assuming that you already have your domain and you installed WordPress and, and all that good stuff, okay? So let me go ahead and, and bring up my notes here. Um, you, you need a FeedBurner account, so all you gotta do is just go here to FeedBurner.com. It's owned by Google, it'll take you right to there. And sign up if you don't already have a Gmail account. I highly suggest you do it there and sign up for a Gmail account because it just makes everything flawless. And the second thing that you're going to need is your website feed URL. And with WordPress, it's really easy to find. All you got to do is just go to whatever your website name is, .com, and add the forward slash and the word feed at the end. WordPress doesn't make it really easy to find, but it's really simple. All you got to do is just add that last thing. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to the feed burner and show you how to do this. So once you're in feedburner.com, it'll bring you to this place, you know, once you're logged in. And right down here, this is where you're going to enter uh, the, the domain. So I'm going to go ahead and put mindsincompress.com. Remember the word feed at the end. Click on next here. It's going to bring you to this next page once it decides to go. Okay, right here. Right here, it'll tell you, welcome, let us burn your feed for you. Right down here, just put in whatever name you want, whatever brand that you're working with. In my case, my brand is Incompress. So I'm going to go ahead and put Incompress blog. Okay, right down here. This is your actual feed URL that's going to be created. So you want to make sure this is not too long here. I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, income press blog there and then once you're done there you go ahead and click on next and that's it you're done setting up well you're not done yet but you're, you've already set up uh, your feed burner URL so you already got it here so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this because this is actually your feed URL and we're gonna go ahead and paste it here because I'm gonna show you what to do with it in just a little bit but you're pretty much set here it is live this is your actual feed URL all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and click on next here to finish setting this baby up. It's gonna bring you to this page. I always like to go ahead and click all of these because I like to know what's going on uh, with my websites. So it's always good to get that info. Click on next and that's it. You're done setting up your, your RSS feed. That's all you gotta do. So that's how you do it really quick. And as you can see, um, it could literally do it, take like one minute to do, all right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up your little widgets uh, RSS subscription box, okay? Now, right here, you wanna go, once you're back here in the back office, you want to go ahead and click on Publicize, okay? And what we're gonna do here is activate the email subscription option because you're gonna want people to subscribe to your, to your RSS. If this is not on, they will not subscribe and they won't be able to get updates. So as soon as this decides to load, it's going kind of slow today for some reason, I apologize. Anyways, you go down here, click on activate. And once it's done activating, it's gonna take you to this page and you're pretty much done. Now your visitors and readers are able to subscribe to your ISS feed. But we're gonna go ahead and show you how to set up a little widget box so they can go ahead and subscribe there. And right here, the cool thing about this, it already uh, it does it for you. It generates the code for you. So all you got to do is just go ahead and copy that. So we're going to go ahead and copy that whole thing. You could go ahead and control C or just go ahead and copy like that and go to your, the back office of your WordPress. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm already back here. So we're going to go ahead and go down here, click on or drag this text thing, go up here. All right. And we're just going to drag it right there, right at the top. And right here, you're going to go ahead and paste the, the code. That's pretty much it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and make this look a little bit pretty here. We're going to go ahead and put sub subscribe to my RSS feed right down here. I'm going to go ahead and enter a few times. And we're going to put some more call to actions here. Get instant updates. 
when I publish new content. Okay, and you're gonna click on save. We're gonna go to the WordPress blog and click on refresh there. And there you go. This is how it looks like. This is your widget that you just created with the RSS subscription box. Now your visitors and readers should go here, subscribe, and get updates every time you publish some content. Now this is the default fee burner one that they give you. As you notice right down here, I already have one and it looks uh, a little bit sexier, right? A little, a little bit better. Well, this one automatically comes with my Genesis theme and uh, it's really simple and easy to use and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now, if you don't have this uh, Genesis theme, I wouldn't be able to help you out because I don't know, there's like tons and tons of other themes out there and I don't know how they all work. But if you have Genesis theme or you wanna get one, I'll show you how to do that real quick. And we'll just go back here to the widget area. And let me go ahead and get uh, my notes real quick. And remember the URL feed that I told you to copy and paste somewhere? We're gonna use it right now. Now, right here, let me go ahead and take this little text thing out, drag it here to the inactives. And I already have it there, but I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. Let's go here, go right here. Genesis E News and Updates. This is the one you want. So we're gonna go ahead and put it right up here. And uh, right here in the title, just put subscribe to my RSS. The text below, same thing like the other one. Um, get updates on content okay and then right here Google feed burner you just go ahead and paste your URL right there your feed burner URL that you burnt in back in feedburner.com and that's pretty much it you click on save go back here we're gonna go ahead and hit refresh and you're gonna see the new update here it looks prettier than the other one and that's pretty much it guys that's how you set up an RSS feed really quick. That's how you set up on a, on a widget with the subscription box. And that's how you set up a subscription box with uh, your Genesis theme, if you have one. So that's pretty much it for today's tutorial, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot out of it. I certainly enjoyed making this for you, as always. Uh, with that said, this is Joy Kasimi with IncomePress.com. Peace. I love it for free. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.